Firework safety to safety in the mountains. UDOT is about to start work up Little Cottonwood Canyon, making avalanche control safer for snow season. New specialist Brian Carlson live for us in Little Cottonwood Canyon tonight on how UDOT is getting ready to do more avalanche blasts by remote here, making the explosive safer and putting less people at risk. Right, Brian? That they are, Mike. So where I'm standing here in the town of Alta will be right underneath the firing path for one of UDOT's howitzer guns they use to shoot off over the buildings and homes here for avalanche control. But with this new work to go more remote, that gun goes away. And so is the dangers that gun brings with it. Say goodbye to one of UDOT's howitzer guns for avalanche control up Little Cottonwood Canyon. Starting next week, UDOT is installing 16 new VEASAN avalanche towers like these below Mount Superior that let UDOT crews drop explosives in avalanche zones remotely. That means no more shooting the heavy explosives from a howitzer over homes or buildings in the town of Alta. This is where the most uh, people and buildings are that we shoot over. Uh, so really what this is going to do, this is going to eliminate all the overhead fire in Little Cottonwood Canyon, except for a few buildings uh, in the Snowbird Village area. UDOT instead can just push a button and the explosive detonation boxes drop the necessary blasts onto the ground below without putting any one or any buildings at risk. The technology isn't new. UDOT is simply expanding the number of towers in its remote system they already have in place. So basically you're taking this and adding 16 more. Correct. For some people in the town of Alta, it's welcome news. Does it make you feel safer knowing that they're getting rid of the gun? I think it definitely does. We spoke with part-time resident Zach Banna, who hears the gun blast each morning during the winter. And that's my wake-up call in the morning before powder days. It's like 5 a.m. There's bombs going off and it kind of rattles the condos a little bit. To have the towers ready for this year's upcoming season, UDOT says construction will sprint over the next three months. Construction crews are going to be working every day of the week. This is a lot of work to squeeze in a short amount of time. The ones finished, they say it'll be safer for everyone there in the town below and the crews doing the avalanche control work above. Now, the one thing this doesn't do is reduce the number of times they close Little Cottonwood Canyon for avalanche control during the winter. I asked about that specifically. UDOT says it may speed things up a bit, but when that dangerous snow falls, the road still needs to close. Live in Little Cottonwood Canyon, Brian Carlson, KSL 5 News. Back to you. All right, Brian, thank you.